No, can sir. you imagine? And I tell you, what I is, I have everything I have here. Eating, she's a veggie. Eating the other, eating the other cucumber. Veggie, veggie, wait a minute. It's just as big as this one. Oh. Okay. The other cucumber, it's as big as this one. Mm. Is that what you're going to learn? This is what you're swallowing. Hey. Only you swallow this thing. Me that gave it to you cannot swallow this. Okay. You, what's the big? Tomorrow. This is what you are swallowing. Only you swallow this thing. Even the other cocoa is bigger than this one. <laughs> the mother is shouting. I thought she was a virgin. This is what you are swallowing. Kai, men that give women that give birth to you cannot swallow this one. <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, Baba, be. Allah had to swallow it. Allah had to swallow it. But cocoa is meant to be eaten now. I myself, I can eat a cucumber that is as large as this. I will chop them now. I love cucumber. I love eating cucumber. Maybe she just want to eat it. Why do they automatically thought that she wanted to use it to do the other stuff? Maybe she loves eating cucumber. I love her to eat cucumber. <laughs> but we already know what exactly she wants to use it for. Men say cucumber may get this swallow. Try. See cucumber make this swallow. Chai. You know, that phrase, that phrase uh, women usually use for men that are uh, men can sleep with anything. Phrase that goes like this men can sleep with anything. My brother, women can also sleep with anything. Men can't just sleep with anything. Men can sleep with human beings, women. But ladies, women can sleep with anything, even non-living thing, like cucumber, uh, like uh, dildos, like uh, anything that is long. They can do it. Yeah. So I think that phrase should be vice versa. It should go. It should go back to the ladies, to the women. Okay, you know, we are not about to start discussing that. Uh, meanwhile, this girl is eating cucumber and uh, uh, beating the record of eating the, the biggest cucumber in Nigeria among the teenagers. We have another story, another discussion that I do think that we are not discussing well. There's a trendy news that we all are shying away from. It's about this man. This 24, 25 years old man. The age is complicit. We do not know if he's 24 or if he's 25. But his story is very captivating. And I think it's motivational. And not just motivational. Other people are kind of like really worried and hungry about it. We're talking about old men who have been at home for years, who have no job, who are trying to get one appointment, you know, graduate at the age of 22, graduate at the age of 25 or 26, did NYSC, and then the next 10 years, no job. And meanwhile, this guy from a very reputable family, well, just decided to, boom, got an appointment immediately. Well, let's have the discussion and uh, please have an open mind there. Eh? Don't be jealous. Me, myself, I felt it as well. I don't lie to you. I felt it as well. I felt it and I'd be like, okay, there's nothing much now we can do. All fingers are not equal. All 25 years old. The age is somewhat complicit. Some media houses are reporting is 24, while some are reporting that is 25. You know? And. Uh, it's not going viral enough. We are not talking about it. This 24 years old or 25 years old was recently appointed as FEMA chairman. He read civil engineering in school and uh, is from a very reputable family, you know, big man family in Nigeria. And uh, his father is a, well, was and still a very strong politician. And this guy was recently appointed as the chairman of FEMA. Kids don't know the meaning of uh, what uh, the responsibility of FEMA is to repair federal roads. 
you know, potholes and every road that are bad, FEMA are responsible in repairing all those roads. Federal, federal, all the roads, Federal Republic of Nigeria repairing them. And this guy was named Chairman at the age of 24 or 25. It's the same thing. Well, I know how some of you feel. In fact, as I had a conversation with my friend yesterday and it was like, what do this guy have that I do not have? And he's more than 30. I said, see, you are qualified. You are educated. Uh, even way more qualified than him. You finished your NYSC years ago. Uh, you are part of uh, engineer society. All those uh, little certificates you have them. But what you do not have is family. What I mean by family, you have family that loves you, but that reputable family, that political family from a really strong political background, that's what you do not have. And this boy, he has all those things. So, it is what it is, guys. Huh? In this life, see, all fingers are not equal. See them, all fingers are not equal. Like I've said, uh, because I I already addressed this issue, I, and I said that, see, I wish him all the best. Uh, this is an opportunity for him to let everybody know, anybody that is doubting him, that is going to do well. And uh, I think it's an opportunity for Nigeria youth as well. Now, if he decides to rubbish the process, rubbish the appointment, and uh, do all those crazy stuff, buy, buy, uh, buy, uh, you know, live this uh, crazy lifestyle, I think it's going to further damage the reputation of Nigeria youth in Nigeria. Well, I wish him all the best, though. I wish him, I wish him all the best. And in case I have any uh, contracts, I will approach him now. I will approach his office so that he can uh, give me one contract. But I will see uh, do some work for Nigerians as well. There was massive crisis at Italy recently. And not just any crisis. It involves our own Nigeria celebrity portable. Portable was seen fighting in, in the street in Italy. Apparently, they tried to rip him. You know, Portable is the one guy that you do not try to rip. Eh? If you rip him, he go shout, he go loud, he go talk. Eh? He go talk. So, apparently, this is what happened now because I contacted someone close to Portable. And the person said, Portable was booked to attend a show in Italy. Paid and booked. Paid in full. So he went to Italy. And you know Portable love being sprayed. You no. Know, apart from you paying me, according to Portable, this is what this is how Portable think. Apart from you paying me, I want you to also spray me money as fans. So Portable went to Italy to perform for fans. And fans sprayed him money. But the organizers who booked him decided to pocket the money being sprayed to Portable. But Portable, however, Portable was already paid though. They'd already paid Portable for a performance. Though. But the organizers of the show decided to pack the money. You know, we were having a talk, a discussion concerning Whiskey Party the other day. And one particular Yoruba musician, K1. And I, I was meant to understand that K1 got booked for that show, paid in full. But K1 came to that party and also packed millions from that party. Because Whiskey also sprayed him. Whiskey sprayed him. Other people sprayed him as well. Apart from the money that he was paid, he was sprayed well at that party. He was sprayed well. So, judging by what happened to K1, tracing it back to Portable, do you think Portable have the substantial right to say that money being sprayed at that party belongs to him, that they should give him that money? Because it, that's his money, though. That's his money. That's his money. For me, give Portable the money now. But Portable, be careful. Italy, no be Nigeria. They will dagger you for there. 
they will dagger you. Be careful. So be everywhere you go, you will destroy yourself when they fight. Oh, there are some places you just chill. You don't show yourself because you don't know who be you. They don't go do you strong thing. For where you don't forget power. How can you be fighting? He's kicking someone's car. And for Italy, as if they're in your Ajegule, as if they're in your hometown for uh, uh, Lagos, may you forget level. Be careful, guy. It's lucky though, but do not read portable. Portable is not the kind of person you should read. If you read portable, portable will talk. Why don't you understand that? So, guys, so let me know exactly how you feel about what we just discussed, and uh, have a wonderful day.